Bye bye. Bye bye. Ciao ciao. Hey one day. Yeah. How are you? Fine. Good. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah, he will follow me. Yeah. Yeah. Water you have? Keep yeah, have water. Yeah. Okay, have a nice journey. All the best, okay? Yeah, all the best keep to you. Good time. luck, yeah. Okay. Yeah, keep in touch. Yeah. I wish you all the best. Yeah, thank I you. Want to ride you. Okay, yeah. Very nice one day. Morning, my friends. So, as you see, I am back in Arpa Minj in Ethiopia and back on the bike, and the bike still works somehow. And today, let's go to Konso. <laughs> it feels so good to be back on the bike. Oh my god. I really thought I would, I might never ride it again in Africa. <laughs> but I'm back! What the fuck? So I need to explain you uh, the end of the story first. Salamnu. 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 So, the story, yeah. Somehow I was, during two months, I was prisoner of the incompetence of the French state. Yeah, it's hard to believe how incompetent the French state is so basically yeah, at the beginning I told you in the in the tracking video first just to apply for the passport in spite of asking me for the, all the correct papers right at the beginning they were adding new papers every three weeks so with this I lost some time probably about a month and then I lost again time because something very simple when the passport is ready they send you an SMS and they tell you your passport is ready, you can pick it up. Yeah. And they forgot to send me the SMS. So I lost, I don't know, two, three weeks here also. And I told them it's, a, it's an emergency, I can't work as long as I don't have my passport. And then they do the worst job possible. And they make it as slow as possible. I was so depressed because like every day, every day you hope to, to go, to be freed. You think, oh, maybe today this passport is gonna come. And it just never comes for months. It's so, so frustrating because every day you think you're going to be free. It's as if you were in jail and you're supposed to go out today, but for some stupid paperwork, you can't go out today. But you know it only on the day. It's just mental. It drives you completely nuts. I can't understand. Salam, Francais. Anyway, that was that. I needed it. I needed to express my my frustration about about the French administration, which is completely well, which in this case was completely incompetent. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. I love you too. And I've got my first escort of the day. And to finish the introduction, actually for today I got myself an escort. It's Sisai somewhere behind. I don't know, just to get back uh, on the road smoothly. It's also because when I came back from Jinka after being robbed, on this road I saw some kids running after the bus in such an aggressive manner that I thought, whatever, if I manage to come back, at least for this, this stage, I just, I just have someone to kind of protect me from potentially aggressive kids. I just need to get back on the in the game slowly have a nice first day and then let's get back to full adventure after that Salam. Salam. Hello. Yeah, But wow, it feels so good to be back on the road. <laughs> Salam new. Ah, it's awesome. The wait was so long. So then the joy is greater. I'm so happy that I made it, that I decided to wait, not, not give up, just wait. Almost four months exactly after I, I got robbed. I am back on the road. Yeah. <laughs> So that's wow. 
That's for the bees. Salam nu. Salam nu, salam nu. Look at the horns. Oh my god. Salam nu. Salam nu. Hey. Hi. Peace. Peace nu. Oh my god, sometimes it's annoying. Salam nu. But I'm gonna miss this uh, overwhelming joy. Ethiopian overwhelming joy. Salam nu. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god. It's a good fuck. Yeah, the big difficulty of the day, it's, it's I think today is 90 kilometers maybe seven or 800 meters elevation gain but it's just going up and down but the hard thing is that yeah most of the day is on dirt road uh, i go i go i go I'm fine. Stop, 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 Oh my god. Yeah. Salam. 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 How do I go across that? Salam. <laughs> You see, there is a bar here somewhere. Oh, there is so much cattle on this road, it's unbelievable. Salam <laughs> new. Oh, big machete. Look at these three guys. Incredible. We already did uh, maybe 35 kilometers over the 90. Look at all those. Uh, so all those tubes are for the bees. It's beehives. So that the, the bees put flowers inside and they make a house. So the people put that in the trees and the, bee co the bees come. And so they can collect the honey. And you have the yellow weavers. Yeah. So all those things are beehives. Man, kind of half mine made beehives. You probably can't see, but there are a lot of very beautiful yellow birds. And all the nests. We are near Lake Chamo and oh wow, there are nests. It's 
full of nests of yellow yellow birds there as well. So we are in the Rift Valley, in the Ethiopian part of the Rift Valley now, the Great African Rift. And it's uh, in Ethiopia, it's very famous here for bird watching. If you like birds, this is one of the best places in the world to come to watch birds. And those birds are amazing. I had lost my tarp. Talan, Sisa is gonna take my tarp actually, so I don't lose it again. Those calls, they go wherever they want. Talanu! Uh, so once again, I have the problem with these. So I'm just gonna remove this thing. Hey, if you want to cut it, yeah, okay. Talanu! Yeah, thank you. What's this? Uh, I'll, I'll just keep it. I'll just keep it. Thank you. Okay, this is okay. Thank you. I'm a second. Okay, so hopefully it doesn't break. It's not here anymore, so it doesn't break anymore. Tires. I have, yeah. Uh, spare tires? No, tires I don't have, but I have the inside part spare. But these tires are, they're very good. I mean, I did 10,000 kilometers with them and I didn't, I had one puncture. They still look new, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. I, it's unbelievable, but... Now you are off-road. Now it's off-road. Okay, so it's gonna be slower, yeah. Okay. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao, ciao. Salanesh. Salanesh. I, I. I don't need to drink. She wanted to sell me some alcoholic drink. Oh my god. Okay, now it's dirt road for a long way. Salanesh. What the hell? Salanesh. 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 Oh man, I think I should stop filming. It looks like there is a there is a burial ceremony just ahead of me. There's a dead body. Salam. 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 Oh my God. And this and this I also explained me. He said that before arriving to Konso. There are some villages, some tribal villages, where they basically the people, they send, uh, they send the kids to attack you. And, uh, and if you respond, if you counter-attack against the kids somehow, uh, then the village uh, comes at you and you're in, you're in trouble, you're in big trouble. So, and that's what I saw actually when I, when I took the bus. I saw some kids just literally attacked, completely attacked the, uh, the bus. So that's why I decided to take someone for this leg and I think it's a good move. Oh man, the road is so bad. I have the impression to be back in the, in the lower Omo Valley. Well, the world was way worse in the lower Omo Valley actually. Salam. Salam. Oh man. Oh my god, this road is mental. Oh shit. Oh. Some oh fuck. Do you know who? Yeah, I follow him. Someone took my yellow jacket. It's, it's kind of tribal here, actually. Thank you. I'll just keep it with me. That's a good I'll just keep it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. It's not a good place to stop, you see? <laughs>
Yeah, they make, they make my bag fall. Wait, wait, wait. Can you hold this? Yes, yes. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. It's not wrong, we will find it nearby. Yeah, yeah. We will stop, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, we'll stop later then. Stop now and tell. No, we'll stop later. Where is my uh, helmet? This is very oppressive, eh? Okay. Oh, a bit. Uh... It's okay, it's okay, no problem. Check it out. Just take it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Wow, look at that. Okay. Let's go. Oh my god. I am happy I have an escort, eh? What the fuck? Tell him it. You! You! Where are you? Good, good, I'm a second item. Uh, I'm from France. Don't say. Back is in there. Oh my god! It's so hard. Sport, you know? Sport, no, yeah, sport, sport. Why, why, why? Why, why, why? How are you? I am very happy. Good, good, good. <laughs> for, for the first day, it's a big day. Yeah, and some AK 47s on the right, on your left. Come oh, on. I am fine, thank you. Yeah. Hello. Ah, oh, my God. Okay, I need to change battery. I need to change battery. That's all. I am tired. I tried to move away from the village, but. Oh my God! Look at the mud. Hey, which tribe is this? It's uh, Darash, yeah? Darash? Darashi. Darashi. Oh, Darashi, you say. Gamo, uh, so... Ga Gamo after... After Arba Minch? Is... Ah, after the bridge. Yes. Now it's Darashi. Darashi, okay. yeah. So we are in Darashi territory. Yeah. And it's... Uh... The Gidola is the main town. Ah, Gidola in the mountain, okay. Yeah, the main town and then this is also Darashi. Oh, Gidola is their main town, okay. Yeah. But they are real tribes or like a uh, half... Uh... No, they are real tribes. They are real tribes, yeah. yeah. So Gidola is their main, is their capital, yes, like, okay, exactly. okay. After the bridge there, we will see also, where I will show you the border of Konsol. It's another tribe after the bridge? Konsol, we are approaching there. Oh, after the bridge is Konsol tribe. Okay, it's more quiet here. This break is uh, more relaxing than the, <laughs> than the previous one. That was crazy. Okay, I think I'm, I'm ready to go. Okay, ciao. Ciao. <laughs> Ah, oh my god. So you see this beautiful plant, it's a uh, sorghum. The cereal we had in the lower Romo Valley. Sorghum and sunflower and moringa. All the trees are moringa. Anna. 
So I just stop. Where are you? Médecins sans frontières. A French doctors NGO. I'm not a big fan of NGOs, but I think I do think around here they probably need them. So things are more quiet now. But uh, oh my god, the road is an absolute disaster. So shaky. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh. I'm riding a freaking minefield. It's just there are holes all day everywhere. So we are 30 kilometers away from from Konso. So let's see where is Sisai. I sent him ahead to try to find a restaurant with electricity. Balan. Here? Okay. There is electricity here? It's possible to have a, a table not too far, not too far, so I can see the bike. The bike. Hello. Oh my God. Where you come from? France. Okay. With this bike here. Yeah, yeah thank you. Ah. Hard, eh? I'm hungry. Let's try to go to eat. <laughs> Oh, I can sit here, yeah. Great, thank you. Oh my god, oh, poor. Ah. So they have meat and then uh, fasting food, uh, vegetable. So I wanted to be here to see the bike, but uh, I cannot see the bike. <laughs> Camera. Camera? Yeah. Okay. YouTube. Live. Huh? No, live, no, no. no. What to drink? Yes, please. Let's yeah. last one, Carlos. Okay, we can see the bike. How do you say uh, thank you in the local language? No, in the local language. Here. In their language. Wakatash? Yeah. Wakatash? Wakatash means thank you, no? Wakatash. How do you say thank you? Wakatash. Wakatash. Okay. Yes. Wakatash. Wakatash. So Wakatash. Wakatash. Yeah. I want to not it. I want to. I want to see. I'm so dead. <laughs> so if I always drink coke, coke is very simple. It's because there is full of sugar. So. And sugar is energy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you go inside, no? Oh, okay. So get. Come on, come on. Charge. Charge, yeah. Get now. Okay. Here? This one? Okay. Okay. This shit. Sorry. Yell him? No light. No light. Oh. No light. Wow. Oh, okay. 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 Yell him. Check it out. Yes. That is okay. Hello. 
How are you? Good, how are you? Are you fine? You're fine. Where are you? So no, where are you from or where you go? From here. Ah, from? Yeah. France. Eh? France. Yeah, uh, and I go to Conso. Are you visitor? Visitor, tourist, yeah. Tourist. Ethiopia Conjo. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Salam no. Daniel. Good, good, good. This camera? Yes, this is camera, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes. You. You. Where I go? Konso. Bruno? <laughs> <laughs> what is the government? I don't know what is the government. But this is our top. Libyan alpha. By by Ethiopian. Yeah. Gibbs. Did you buy? Ah, Gibbs. Yes. By Marinia, Gibbs. Ah, I see. Yeah, Gibbs. But the uh, uh, Gibbs police. Problem, problem. problem. Uh, chigir, chigir. Chigir, chigir. Gibbs, chigir. In Egypt, they did not let me ride. Have you a wife? No. Why if you me? Yeah, because it's when you travel all the, everywhere, it's difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Always move, move, move. <laughs> oh my god. What's going on? What happened? Are oh, the police is coming? Oh shit! <laughs> and they all laughing now. They are, this tribe is Christian. Like mixed. There are also. They have their own tradition, and they mix with Christian. Christians. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Yes. Are you Clean is washing. Yeah, yeah. I'm a second one. Baika, 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 baika. I'm a second one. Yes. Ah? At this time? Yes. I understand very little. Yeah, just a little bit. Maybe I know 50 words. Oh, the food is coming. Oh, oh there is. Oh, Ambasha. I love Ambasha. <laughs> Okay, let's enjoy. Oh, that's very spicy. Very spicy, I guess, yeah. It's good. I really like the ambasha. What meat is it? Goat? Sheep? Yeah, captain now? Goat. Goat, okay. I don't know why I blow not bare. Ah, it's very good. I don't know why in, why in Europe we don't eat goat meat because it's actually really good. So we are done with the um, the dirt road, 500 meters uh, from here. It's asphalt again. That's very good. So we're ready to go, no? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> 
Look at my uh, my GPS. <laughs> I guess it's time to go. Okay. Okay, let's go. Bye bye. Ciao. Up to the let's go. Woo. Let's go away. And I have the whole village after me. Oh my god! Even the goat is hustled! Oh, I think I see asphalt! I see a bridge! And just behind the bridge I see asphalt! Awesome! And here is the fastest runner of the village! Down! Wow! Salamnesh, Salamnesh! Ay, ay, ay! She was angry, she was beautiful! Wow. She was angry because I didn't stop! And that's the bridge! I don't know which river! And after the bridge is the asphalt! Look at that, guys! Oh my god! Oh, that's the... Yeah, you see, it's a tribe. There's naked women <laughs> buffing in the in the river. <laughs> and then Woo! Asphalt! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what a day! Salam there. So we just passed the bridge. That is the border between the previous tribe and the consul territory. Hello, <laughs> Nature. And to finish the day, a good, nice, hard climb, 7k left. Oh my god, there are so many of them. Okay, I guess I have to go high speed. I'm going as fast as I can in high speed. Oh my god! One more gear. I don't know too. Oh my god. I'm completely dead. Oh, the first day is always the first day after a long time. Not riding is always very hard. Oh. I'm just completely empty. No battery left. So how much is it here? No, it's uh, Why the hotels are so expensive? Yeah, it's, uh, it's already a tri tribal price, no? Yeah. 
once I find a lodge to, for $30 per night, so I'm gonna, we're gonna go there. So we go to Korapta Lodge. Because everything is super expensive here. here uh, the problem is here it was reasonable in this pension, but, but uh, they had no shower. <laughs> well, bucket shower. So Sisai is leading me to a lodge. But, oh my God, the climb to go there is freaking insane. This is horrible. I'm moving at three kilometers per hour and I have almost no more battery. If the battery runs, if I run out of battery in this climb like that, I just can't move. The bike is too heavy. I'm not strong enough to make it move, basically. So this is the name of the lodge, Korepta Lodge. Hopefully it's not far. Up this road? Oh my God. Ah, fuck! Ah. Okay, so no more battery and it's just a few hundred meters, but I can't move the bike anymore, basically. So, yeah, you have to yeah, push this. Maybe just take this one and you yeah. can put it on your back. Yeah. And then I will push the bike. Yeah, go. Uh, okay, you hold it? Yes. Okay, thank you. Up. Okay. Uh, so I will push it, okay, thank you. Okay, so I have to finish pushing. No more battery. Oh, fuck. Oh. Ah. 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 Oh, fuck. So I have a kid helping me to, to steer it. Yeah, right. This way, this way. Yeah, yeah. Left. You have to go in, in here, okay? Yes. Is she? I can't talk. Yeah. Oh my god. Look at this height, it's beautiful. That's a good one. Wow. Oh wow. Oh my god. I think I'm getting it for thirty dollars, which is probably Honestly, a good price for this kind of thing. It's so beautiful. Very nice mosquito net. Oh, and look at this beautiful hut architecture. Hot shower. It's very nice, very beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> take, take, take water. Yeah, yeah. Cold drink. So my battery is charging. My bags are here, my beautiful bed in this beautiful hut, giant hut, is here. I'll just give you a quick tour of this lodge so that gives me a big discount actually because I think at first uh, Seaside was saying oh, all the lodges here they are like 50 to 60 dollars so I guess they went down from 50 dollars to 30 but then I have to pay for my meals basically which is fair enough. Yeah, so he said he had to bargain to get the tour operator's price, basically. But the lodge is beautiful, oh my god. So you see my bike is parked, parked here. You see those beautiful huts, so they reproduce kind of in the same way. I don't think the stone part is the traditional way, but they reproduce the traditional way of building houses. I, the, the huts in Africa, the huts, the lodges are very often super beautiful. And look at this beautiful place. Wow, is that? That's the drinking things. Beautiful buffet. Look at this beautiful room. Awesome. So beautiful. And the best thing about the lodge is it's also because it's also that they are the best place always. Look at this view. 
you have all the huts. And basically today we have the we have the lodge for ourselves. So several huts there, beautiful trees. And that's down there where the city you see is Conso. So that's why the climb was extremely steep, extremely hard. <laughs> Almost died on this climb. And that's basically that's the way we came from. Left. That's the valley we came from. So that's the way to Arba Minj. And if you go somewhere this way. This way is Yabello, so that's the way I'm supposed to bike, but that I will probably not bike. I'll probably skip the next stage because Sisai tells me there are rebels on the way. What a day, oh my god, I'm so happy to that I did not give up. You know, when you have this kind of big, big, big problem, the easy solution when you get robbed like that, when you have to do a new passport and you know it's going to take a very long time, the easy solution is to give up and go back and start another project because then you know you can when you go back you can focus on something else and you don't lose time while deciding not to give up is much harder because you know the waiting time is going to be super hard it's going to be ex very depressing very extremely annoying i just hate those things those, those periods but you have to go through if you can if you want to reach your goals so I'm very happy I decided to wait, even though I had two months where I was really going crazy in France. It was like, at some point I was like shouting in my car, where everything was going wrong since like two, three or four months. And I was like, what the hell? I was shouting in, my, in, in the car. I got tired. Everything I was trying to do was going wrong. But things turned around it's eventually. And I'm back on the road. And my God, all this hardship, all this freaking stupid waiting is worth it to go back to this joy of like not giving up and being still on the, still standing. Anyway, so that was, I'm so happy to, to be here, to struggle again on the Ethiopian roads. But I'm still alive and the dream is still alive. See you for the next adventures, guys. Ciao.